Oh, hello. My name is Mara, and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Okay, you guys are about to see my bookish moving vlog. Enjoy the journey that is coming your way. It is a week before I close, and I, oh gosh, you guys are going to be getting some insight into the squalor I am living in right now, just because I'm in that I say that because you can see my laundry behind me, but I am in that weird stage of like, you're about to be moving. So like I'm having a hard time <laughs> being incentivized to like keep my shit together because I know I'm about to be packing it all up. But anyway, I'm about a week out from moving and today I was kind of like, I went and did some initial uh, shopping I needed to do at Target. If you don't have Target, like if you're not in the US, it is, it's God's gift to all of us. Um, and they were having some sales. So pro tip, Apparently in January, it's like the best time of year to buy any kind of home goods because the retailers, they all have their end of year on the 31st of January. So like there's been some mega sales. So I got two rugs, a floor lamp, and like a bunch of little kitcheny gadgety things that I'm going to need for like 200 bucks. So it was, it was a good, a good roll there at Target. Anyway, side note. So today is like my first like truly trying to get my shit organized for the move. And so I thought I would show you guys like what I'm working with in terms of like what all books I'm gonna need to move. And I'm trying to figure out like what my bookcase situation is gonna be versus like maybe installing some shelves. I'm still like thinking this through. So, but anyway, I thought I would just start by showing you where all the books are. Okay, so like out here in the living room, I've got like a couple of of little bookend things happening. So that's one of them. This, by the way, is like what I use to keep my TV on, but it also can be a bookshelf. So that's how I'm using it. I think in the new house, I'm going to put this in my laundry room because this Ikea bookshelf has like, you know what? It's like done its duty. This is now, ooh, goodness. I'm going to say coming up on 10 years old which is impressive considering that it's Ikea furniture, but it's it's gone the distance. Um, but so yeah, you can see that I have like some books out here. Then like over here on in the kitchen, I just have like some food related books that I thought that would be kind of a fun place to keep them with some bookends. I'm keeping all of my uh, cookbooks in one place, I think in the new house. These will probably get moved over up on into the kitchen, like some bookends there. And then this is a bookcase that is, you guys don't normally see, but it's in my office. I've got my movies up on the top part, but I think I'm gonna have like an entertainment stand thing that I'll keep those in going forward. And then the rest of this are just like random books. <laughs> um, so I don't have these like really organized very well. I need to like rethink. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of think through what my like organization strategy in the new house is, but this is one bookshelf I'll have. Then I've got the main bookshelves that you guys see most of the time. So I've got three of those. So I've got four bookshelves in total that are gonna come with me because that one that um, the cookbooks are on, I think that I'm gonna donate that to Goodwill because it just doesn't go with any of my stuff and I just, I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't work for me fully as a bookcase, I feel like. The drawer situation on it is weird. So anyway, um, these are all the books in the book shelves. Actually, wait, I forgot to show you one other one out in the living room. I forgot to show you guys this one. This is like a little table that has built-in bookshelves on it. So it's kind of a weird height, so I can only keep certain books on it, but this is the other shelf. And then I do have like a little cart downstairs in my bedroom um, that I keep like my most imminent TBR stuff on. So anyway, I'm kind of thinking through what all I'm gonna want or need. I think that those four main bookshelves should be enough for most of my collection, especially once I uh, move those movies um, into like a TV stand. But I think I'm probably going to get like a ladder type bookshelf like probably two, one for my Penguin cloth bounds and one for all of my Agatha Christie books. And I think if I like move those two collections into like kind of more decorative bookshelf situation between like with all of that, I think then I should have, I don't need any other bookshelves. But I've also thought about maybe getting a couple of like free floating shelves for one of those. I don't know. I'm still kind of thinking that through, but the good news is I don't think I'm going to have to buy like a huge hefty 
bookshelf or bookcase um, for the new house. Like the ones I'm looking at are like 70 bucks each or like if I got some free floating shelves and hung those, I think that would be like 100 or 150 bucks. So, you know, that's not nothing, but it's also not terrible. So I'm glad that my like book addiction isn't going to require a bunch of new furniture. I kind of over time, like the, sh the shelves that I have, I don't love. They're pretty inexpensive. So I think ultimately, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of have to think through how much I want to invest long term in bookshelves in that house. Because if I was thinking I was going to be there for like 10 or 15 years, I would probably save up and get some built ins because that's ultimately what I'd really like. But I don't necessarily see myself in this house forever. I see myself there for like five years. So I don't really want to invest in, you know, a few thousand dollars worth of built ins. Probably not, but I do think I ultimately would like to invest maybe in like a thousand dollars of nice matching bookcases at some point, but I don't need to do that right away. Like I want to kind of move everything in and sit with, sit with the space and figure that out. As I'm talking about this, I'm realizing these are very like high class problems to have and not even problems, but high class like purchases to be considering. I'm well aware of that. That's the reality of it. I work hard. I've saved a lot of money because I am very frugal and everything except for books, basically. Um, so I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I can afford that. So anyway, that's sort of some initial thoughts that I'm having. I'll check back in with you guys when I'm ready to start actually packing up some of these books, which is going to be really sad. I get really sad when my books go away from my house because they're some of my favorite like homey touches. So I feel like my house becomes a lot more sterile once they get packed, but part of life. It'll only be for a couple of weeks. Hey guys, so I did my quick run through my bookshelves today to see what all I needed to unhaul in addition to what I'd already identified. So pretty proud of myself. I've got a good stack that I'm going to take to the used bookstore. So that is an important step in moving your books, making sure you're only moving ones that you want to be moving. See, look at this big ass pile of books that I'm unhauling. Good job, me. It includes some uh, cookbooks there at the bottom too, which are heavy and therefore good to get rid of if you're not going to use. Okay, so now I am at McKay's to take my books to get some credit and to unhaul them so I don't have to move them, which is uh, really the primary motivator. We'll see how this goes. So this is my first time at this McKay's. McKay's is like the best used bookstore ever, except for probably Powell's in the Strand so good. It has locations in like, I think the original one's in Greensboro, and then there's a small one in Chattanooga, but there's a big ass one in Knoxville. And then this is my first time coming to the one in Nashville, and it is a good size. It also abides by the rule, which is like, so my rule about, or my theory of the case for Trader Joe's is that they are only located in places where there is no parking. Like that is a requirement when they select their location is that the parking has to be terrible. Another like universal rule is that it does not matter what day of the year it is, what time of day, if McKay's is open, the entire parking lot is filled. And this, this is following that particular <laughs> rule. I don't like, it can literally be Christmas day. And if they were open, it would be full. Like I, like I strategically will pick times. Like if I'm off work or something like on a Tuesday at like two o'clock and somehow it's always full. So anyway, the Nashville one is still holding to that rule. So that is a good sign. We will see how I do. Ooh, look, I brought this and they've got uh, another copy on sale for $17.50. We'll see what I get for mine. Okay, I walked out with $120 of trade and only one new book that I paid no cash for. So let's call that a win. Also in there, I had the first time somebody recognized me from YouTube happen, which was wild. Hey, Katie. I like that that's wild if you are ever if you are a Tennessean or you're in Tennessee and you ever see me out and about please say hello because that was so cool I forget that people actually see this honestly I feel like I'm talking to the void sometimes so anyway that was so neat oh that was like that made my day now I'm gonna get back to hauling a bunch of shit around okay here's the first suitcase of books I'm taking over I decided I'm not gonna do boxes this time because I'm only moving two miles away and I think that I can handle this in just sort of bags, but that means that this is gonna take a while. Also, the suitcase is gonna be super, super heavy. We'll see how the strategy is going. If I need to convert to boxes, I definitely can do that, but for now, we'll see how this goes. And so it begins. Can you hear that echo? It's because it's super empty in here, except for these books. 
This is my first batch I've brought over. Only about uh, 400, 500 more to go. So we'll be done in no time, right? <laughs> hey, ooh, this is cute. Yeah, I look like the Joker, but that's fine. Whew, it's been a, it's been a long day of moving, guys. Got a lot done, and I think I figured out like, I think this weekend has been good for me figuring out what I need to focus on during the week, which I think is mostly getting things ready to go over to the new house. So I think that's what I've realized is I need to spend a little bit more time packing when I'm at my house, like my current house, so that I'll be ready to move things over here. But really the biggest thing I have left are kitchen stuff. And that's not all that much. And the good news about that is that I have all my cabinets ready. So like I can move those right in and then the books. I moved all my clothes this weekend, like except for the stuff I'm gonna actually be wearing for the next few days. And I moved all of my like little furniture. So that was good. So yeah, I'm waiting for some things to come in. I've got some bookcases that I've ordered that are gonna arrive. And yeah, I kind of just gotta keep knocking it out. So I'll check in with you guys later. Oh my gosh, this is like, not cute. Luckily, the only people who've been seeing me are the people at the gas station. Hopefully, I don't meet any new neighbors looking like this. You see that, guys? That is washer dryer. <sighs> I thought after I bought this house, I would be done having large purchases, but every day I'm like, oh yeah, I also probably need something to wash my clothes in. And like this morning, I realized, hey, I made mean, one of microwave. Details, guys, details. It has been an up and down, action-packed weekend of moving. Um, yeah, I'd say like the biggest development in terms of YouTube, which by the time you guys are seeing this, I assume I have worked out, is that I am not gonna have internet for like 10 days. And um, the good news is I have a bunch of things pre-filmed and like edited and ready to go. The bad news is I didn't quite get my act together to actually upload all of those. So I've gotten like a hot spot to take care of my daily internet needs. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna, one of my friends said I could come use her Wi-Fi to upload some things. So I think I'm probably gonna have to do that. Lovely complication. Anyway, in terms of books, I would say I am 70% of my books are here. Let me show you the room and the development since you have last seen it. I bet the echo on this is awesome. See, look at all these books. Ooh, ah, and then I've got some more in my bedroom. And then I also have a new bookshelf to put together. As you can see, ladder bookcase. I'm gonna put this together sometime during the week and if I like it, I'm gonna order one or two more to match it because I like the idea of using this for some of my like collections because I think it'll be a good way to display them. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I think the next thing you guys will see is either the completed bookshelf, and I'll tell you if I'm gonna get a new one, and or once most of my other bookshelves arrive. So I'm not, today is a Sunday, next Saturday is when my most of my furniture is gonna come. I've got a bed here, and so I'm sleeping here, but yeah, I don't actually have the rest of my furniture. Like I'll show you, I have, uh, yeah, I brought one chair and one ottoman, and then you can see my kitchen. I have some stools. Note the shorter stool for shorter me. So I don't really have a lot of furniture right now. So when I get that, then I think I'm probably gonna put, like I'm gonna set this up so that you guys can see me restocking my shelves. But I think I'll probably be talking to you guys once I'm re-shelving, and I'm very excited for that. Okay, as promised. We are now uh, in a shelved world, so you guys can see. Ooh. There are shelves. Uh, there's also a shelf here, and I have one to put together and a small random one. I have shelves, basically, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to use them. This house has got a lot more space than I've ever had before, and I think that I will end up with more bookshelves. I currently don't need them in the sense of the number of books I have. Like I can fit all of my books, I think, onto the shelves that I have, but I think I will arrange them differently if I have more space, if that makes sense. Like I'll make them, like I'll make it more of like a thing, like it'll be prettier. So anyway, I'm gonna start trying to figure out 
where I'm putting things. And so yeah, I'm waiting for some files for some videos that I have edited to export. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna shelve some things. So I'll show you at least some of it. Uh, first, I'm gonna do one of the easier ones and then maybe I'll set you guys up so you can see me do the others. Okay, I'm about to put this little ladder bookshelf thing together. Look how well this matches my floors. Like that was an unexpected delight. But anyway, through the art of video magic, watch this go from this to this. Ooh, ah, I actually really quite like this. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a second one to sit next to it, but this is where I'm gonna put my cloth bound classics. So let me get on that. Man, guys, I actually really like how it looks sort of like randomly mixed. So maybe I'm not gonna color code this time. But yeah, I just need to grab a couple more of my philosophy ones, but this, this shelf fits my collection perfectly. So I think this is where I'm going, sorry, let me flip you around. So I think this is where in the future, I will have like classics corner and this will be my background. <laughs> because I have my book so much more spread out in this new house, I think I'm gonna have like a variety of filming locations. So excitement, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, I apologize. Ooh, hmm, that's a cute look. This is what it looks like when uh, your red lipstick has been on for eight hours. Um, I forgot to show you guys me sorting books, but here's where we're at. So I'm going to go genre this time. So these are the ones that I already have up. This is basically like mostly nonfiction down here, like pretty much all nonfiction. Turns out I have a lot of nonfiction in print. And then I decided, whoa, tripping over some books. I decided what I'm gonna do for this shelf is this is gonna be my series shelf. So anything that I have at least one book that is in a series, I'm gonna put on this. And I'm purposely leaving like room to grow as my series grow. <sighs> So I need to think through how to make this look okay in the interim while it's growing. I showed you guys, I think earlier, my penguin cloth bound situation. I'm gonna set you guys up so that you can see me sorting through this last pile of books. And then I think, I think that probably will be mostly it. Let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so we're in the rare situation where I have more shelf space than books at the moment. So I so I need to find like the little shelf doohickey thing to get this to be level again. So I'm even down a shelf. So I have an entire extra shelf up there. I also have like a ton of slack space. So like there's room to grow. So what I did is like this top area is like literary fiction, not in a series. That's speculative fiction and that's mystery, like all those not in series. And then I have like personal essays and memoirs and like essays in general, moving into kind of general nonfiction autobiographies up in this area. This is food related stuff and then historical fiction for the most part. This is fiction, or not fiction, sorry, this is nonfiction about like women, gender stuff, also like specifically romance, uh, literary studies. Then we have like philosophy verging into religion. This is religion, and then this is like my grab bag shelf, C.S. Lewis and Agatha Christie, and then books like literary studies and books about writing. So that's this main shelf area, and like I said, I've got like a whole extra shelf here once I get the little grommet guys so that can go up. And then over here is 
all of my series and some of these are single books in a series. So like I may only have one book in that series, but if it belongs in one, it's gonna go on this shelf. So, and again, as you can see, slack, there is room to grow. And let me, I'll show you my other shelves too, just as like the wrap up. I also, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but I have like a little side table that has bookshelves in it. So I've got my Varego classics on the top shelf and then some penguin ones on the bottom. So I've got that happening. I decided to put my Agatha Christie facsimiles up here on my TV stand. So we've got that. And then the PX de Resistance out here in the living room is the Penguin Cloth Bound Classics shelf. And as I alluded to earlier, I think I'm gonna get a second one that will have, so I can have like all, all of my classics on two shelves out here. And then taking you back into my bedroom where magic happens. I don't, I don't like that, but that's a cribs throwback to those of you who remember it is my current TBR shelf. So a lot of these would get incorporated into my series bookshelf back in the main area, but that's it. I think that's all my books guys. Okay. I think that's going to be it for my bookish moving vlog. Now that all my books are in place, I do have some other things I still have to unpack, but I'm actually pretty good shape. I need to put together my bed and what else? That's honestly the big, put, I need to put together my bed and then I need to like hang pictures. That's really the biggest things left at the new place. I have to do a clean out of my old place and Lord help me am I dreading that, <laughs> but I'm going to try to do it in small bits over the next week, like an hour every night and I figure that will get the job done. But I think that's where I will leave you guys for now. Okay, surprise, I uh, haven't cut this together yet, so I thought I would show you guys that I went ahead and got a second bookshelf to match. So now I have like all of my nice, pretty collections here, ensemble. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more, but it's built. So I think I'm officially moved in from a bookish perspective, so. I think that's gonna do it for me for now. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This was something a little different from me, but I hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social medias if you are so inclined. I have all that info listed in the description box below and I will see you guys soon. Bye.